Hello everyone. My name is Zhou Zhu. Come from Plus E Intelligent Company, Shanghai. Today, I would like to share with you an innovative application of 3D printed tuning and closed lock mode temperature monitoring, a kind of green technology. We have three tools in this system. First, we're using conformal cooling 3D printing, which by using HBD metal 3D printing machine. And second, we use a mode thermal temperature monitoring system. And third, we're using the 3D printing mode temperature controller. So why use 3D conformal cooling? This is because for the original injection molding industry, we have low efficiency, high energy consumption, large fluctuation in the production process, high product scrapping rate. By using 3D printing, the mode cooling time is shortened and the cost can be more low. More functions from improvements in motor design and free design and easily manufacturing. So the 3D printing mode have those advantages. The injection molding cycle is greatly shortened and the molding efficiency is improved. The mode cooling time is reduced and the output is increased. The mode surface temperature is uniform, the product deformation is small, and the size control is excellent. The yield of injection molded parts is improved. The 3D printing mode has short printing cycle, less margin, and fast processing speed. The printing material has good mechanical properties, high corrosion resistance, non service life, and product quality, fast forming speed, and low overall cost. Even the 3D printed cooling channel so efficient, but they have some disadvantage point, like narrow channel, easily blocking, complex design, and frequent heat exchange. So for this issue, what we can do when we making the injection molding? We find these two tools to control when we using the 3D printing more stable. So the monitoring is real-time and efficient temperature monitoring with closed lock control. And we have the temperature controller specially used for 3D printing. Can provide green environmental friendly cooling during the injection. This is one of the pictures we make the medical SARS COV2 test bar. The material is PP and the cavity is 16 cavities. The molding time is 5 to 12 seconds per each shot. So in the middle side, you can see we monitor each cavity exactly the temperature. So when one cavity, the temperature wave more than 2 degrees C, we will ask the robot to take out the potential, potential issue parts to keep the ejection press process more stable. This is another mode. We take the thermal imaging pictures when during the injection. So we can monitor some of the area if the temperature is higher or lower. And the left side is a kind of handle part injection. And the right side is a kind of fan part when making the injection. So this thermal imaging can monitor the injection process more stable and this is online monitor so now i would like to introduce some of our case study for improving the cooling and the injection process this is one of the garden tool shell and this is old mode the cycle time was 52 seconds and the material is PP with two cavities. We study the original design and find they have some of the ribs, like these pictures, are difficult to 
code. So we make the two inserts, like the left side, the green is the 3D printed channel. So we make these inserts for cooling improved. After we put the 3D printed inserts in this mode, the optimized cycle time reduced to 36 seconds for each shot. And this is the um, injection process exactly reduced. And the right side is the 3D printing tuning controller. This is the first generation. Now we have more smaller mode controller exactly used for very very small channel and make it more efficiency every time. So this is the case for automotive electronic control components called ECU housing. For this one, for this project, we using 3D printing for cavity and core, and we use the special 3D printing temperature controller for cavity and the core side. Each side we put one machine to keep the cooling efficiency. So using this technology, we're re reducing cycle time from 42 seconds to 22 seconds. This is the part pictures. And the cavity side, so the all cavity side, we make 3D printed by HPT machine. And this is the pictures for the cavity. And right side is the pictures of cooling channel for core side. This is a very successful example we did two years ago. So this is a sprue we're using 3D printing. Also cold sprue and hot sprue can be used to solve the problem like low mark, stress mark, and also can reduce cycle time from five seconds to 10 seconds. The get issue like blue mark can be improved. This is uh, one of the impeller parts. The original problem is the deformation after injection molding. And dynamic balance performance is poor. It means when this part turning can be big noise. And also this original problem is non-cycle cycle time. So after we using the 3D printing, we reduce cooling time from 35 seconds to 28 seconds. And also the part has excellent dynamic balance performance. So when it's turning, it's quiet. This is one of the application we doing some of the venting, like this green area. We make the venting directly on the metal. So this left side is a original venting. We make small inserts and put, put it together, but sometimes it also can see some of the vent mark. After we using the new technology to print the metal with venting. So this area, the flow mark has been solved. We can also make some of the bridge case to reduce the tooling printing cost. Like this picture, only the, or the orange color needs to be printed. This area, the base part is normal steel. And for this bridge printing, we also make our know-how to use better material. We call it RX300 and RX730. The original way to bridge is using the normal steel, like H13-2343, and printing MS1, someone called 1.2709. This is a different metal hybrid printing. So this normal way to make bridge, sometimes we can easily see the crack and leakage, like this hot runner was being leakaged. When you use different material, 
bridge. So plus E make the study and uh, we provide a new method to print. The solution is we use the same material. The base part is RX300 and the printed part material also RX300. So you can see the middle side, side the best part, this is the original picture when finished printing and this material I go together and the right side you can see the after greening you cannot see any bridging mark and this can solve the problem for the original different material printing this we can provide our company plus E provide more design optimized like 3D printing design mode flow analysis <coughs> and some of the stress analysis and also we did 3D printing like model 3D printing mode repair product product application development and we have post process service like heat treatment application and factory inspection and also some uh, of the anti-rust service so thanks for all your time and uh, if you have any more questions please keep freely call me